a high school student wins science fair and proves that the traditional medicines, the Native American recipe, kills cancer cells in just 24 hours. This is by Michelle and Fit Found Me. Teen Science Project revives ancient remedy, showing cancer fighting potential. The wealth of knowledge about medicinal plants passed down by our ancestors holds the potential to provide valuable insights into treating various illnesses, including cancer. However, anecdotal evidence from traditional practices is often insufficient for modern scientific inquiry, which demands empirical proof. Funding for such research can be scarce, particularly for natural remedies that cannot be patented, limiting corporate interest and sponsorship. Occasionally, unexpected sources can offer definitive proof of a plant's medicinal value. One such instance involves a traditional recipe and plant that gained recognition through the efforts of a high school Native American student at the International Science Fair in Los Angeles. According to Indian County Today, Destiny Sky Pete, a member of the Shoshone and Paiute tribes from the Duck Valley Indian Reservation in Idaho and Nevada, discovered that her tribe's current health issues were linked to a lack of traditional foods, including the forgotten recipe for toi shabui or choke cherry pudding. Intrigued by the potential health benefits of choke cherry pudding, particularly its purported cancer-fighting properties, Skye decided to conduct a scientific experiment to verify these claims. She enlisted the help of biochemistry professor Dr. Ken Cornell at Boise State University, who specializes in cancer cell research. Dr. Cornell tested four types of choke cherry specimens on uterine sarcoma cancer cells. Remarkably, only one sample, the traditional choke cherry pudding, successfully inhibited cancer cell growth. Within just 24 hours, the cancer cells began to die. Sky noted that the success of the pudding was due to the inclusion of the crushed chokeberry pits, which were a critical component of the recipe. The community celebrated this breakthrough as it provided scientific evidence of another herb's potential in treating cancer. Sky's experiment earned the first grand prize at the 2017 Elko County Science Fair in Nevada, surpassing over 440 other projects. She plans to continue her research by testing other types of cancer cells for a longer period. Sky expressed her belief that our ancestors were healthier because of the foods they consumed and that modern day health issues such as diabetes stem from a lack of traditional foods in our diets. It was the traditional preparation of toy shabui in the, with the crushed seeds that had the results, Sky said. I feel like our ancestors were really healthy. Nowadays, we're prone to diabetes and other diseases. But back then, it was our food that made us healthy. Choke cherry, the cancer-fighting fruit with the antioxidant properties. Chokeberry is North America's tree that produces small, antioxidant-rich fruit that ripen in late summer. The tiny pits of these fruits have been shown to have cancer-fighting properties. Unfortunately, the pits have been largely forgotten, and the most popular recipe, recipe for choke cherry and choke cherry jam requires the pits to be discarded. To revive the traditional medical use of the choke cherry, it's important to use the whole fruit, including the pits. One traditional recipe is choke cherry pudding, which includes crushed up seeds. While choke cherry seeds contain a small amount of cyanide-like substance, it's safe to eat it in small amounts, and cooking the pudding eliminates the risk. Other ways to enjoy choke cherries include making fruit, leather, jam, or juice. And the recipe? Although the recipe for choke cherry pudding may have variations among different tribes, the key factor is to use the entire chokeberry fruit along with the pits. It's essential to note that choke cherry is distinct from black cherry and other types of cherries, and attempting the recipe with a different fruit may result in different health benefits and possible risks. According to Sky, the traditional approach to making choke cherry pudding involves crushing the seed of the choke cherry. However, in modern times, some individuals extract the seeds while juicing the berry. Sky believes that the seed may have medicinal properties that contribute to overall well-being. And here is a recipe from Idaho State University website. One, select fresh choke cherries from the tree. 
Two, rinse the berries thoroughly and place them in a hard cutting surface, preferably stone, a stone mortar may be useful, and some people utilize a meat grinder to grind the pits. Three, crush the pits and berries together. Four, put the crushed mixture into a small pot of boiling water and boil until the water's color changes. Five, add flour to the pot until the mixture reaches the consistency of a runny pudding. Six, add sugar according to taste and stir. Seven, remove from heat, allow it to cool and enjoy. And what about the cyanide and choke cherry pudding? As with medicinal materials, it's important to remember that the dose makes the poison. Choke cherry seeds do contain a small amount of cyanide-like substance, but it's safe to eat them in small amounts. And in fact, like apple seeds, they may even have medicinal properties. However, ingesting too many could be a health risk, so it's always best to consult a naturopathic doctor if you have any concerns. Fortunately, there's no need to worry about cyanide and chokeberry pudding. The crushed chokeberry pits become completely safe as the pudding boils, so you can enjoy the medicinal benefits of the fruit without any risk. And if you're just looking to enjoy the taste, you can always make fruit leather jam or juice or buy chokeberry jelly online. And uh, the uh, cherry choke for a uh, choke cherry for health. Discover the health benefits of choke cherry packed with antioxidants. This traditional fruit supports wellness and can be used in jams, juices, or puddings. Other chokeberry products now on Amazon brace the healthier lifestyle inspired by ancestral wisdom. And uh, you can see the videos included in the article. And this is on Collective Spark by Michelle for Fit Found Me. Please leave your comments. Thank you for your support. I support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily, and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.